Hi, my name's Helen. This is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're Ailes Bell, hello. Um, you can see them in a different location. I would have taken this down, but it's the memory foam mattress that goes on this sofa bed in the cabin. And it's so heavy and unwieldy that I can't do it on my own. So I know it's not the best background, so you'll have to excuse me for that. So I'm back down here again today. Um to show you um, some bits that I bought in the John Lewis sale. One of the pieces I'm really excited about, which probably means that it won't work at all. So um, yeah, it'll be interesting. Um, has anything happened? It's scorching today. It looks like we're finally getting a spell of warm weather. Thank goodness. Um, so I've got another ton of visitors at the weekend. Rob's family, um, which is really lovely actually. Two of the uh, brothers are, they're all his, I've got two brothers and two sisters, well, one sister coming to stay and one sister visiting. And so there's 10 siblings, two have passed away, that leaves eight. Um, one lives up the North Eng up in the North of England, one lives in Canada, so that's six. And I'm going to have Rob, Terry, Peter, Gwen and Sue. So I'm going to have five. Oh, and um, his brother who lives in London who can't make the journey. So, yeah, it's, a, it's they're a good laugh, I have to say. But obviously it is also hard work. So I've started doing the menu planning and um, and then I'll have to get the shopping done. So... That's my last kind of big crowd of visitors for the summer. Um, Rob's sister will be staying on for a week, so we'll be going out and about. And it was her that, uh, was it last? Yeah, it must have been last year. We were we were in a hedge end and she had just asked me, had anyone ever approached me while we were out to say hello? And I was still, don't, don't be ridiculous. And a bit about, probably not even two minutes later, the lovely Barbara came along to say hello and um, yeah that was I mean we really got the giggles afterwards because I had it was honestly it was like I'd set it up it was so funny and actually um, I met Claire um, hello Claire um, in Hedge End a couple of weeks ago uh, when I was out there with out there with Katie and the children and that was lovely. So if you ever do see me, don't be shy to say hello because I probably like it more than you do, to be honest. So um, yeah, that was nice. And um, what else? So uh, have I said, oh God, I've got a runny nose. It must be the heat. Um, I've got a John Lewis uh, selection today. Yeah, I've got three dresses, I think, and a jacket. And um, yeah, the Asda, uh, Asda. What's wrong with me? The George. Not George, that's Asda. Flipping heck. Two at Sainsbury's Hall video was really popular. And uh, I've got to get round to answering some more of the comments on there. So that, that was really nice. And a few people kind of said, but you've just had a big clear out. So yeah, I know. I know. That's all I've got to say is I know. Um so um anything else to report oh gosh you know what i did so i was i i don't really have to do a lot to my eyebrows they keep, keep a pretty good shape and you know i dye them with um what's it called just for men beard beard dye and i just use that every probably four or five weeks i have shown it on a video at some point anyway I was kind of plucking a few of the little blonde hairs out and then I thought oh I'll just use the epilator in here and of course I got distracted and I whacked I pulled out loads of hairs of this part of my eyebrows so I'm having to draw those in every day because I've got a big ball patch <laughs> what an idiot honestly more haste less speed you know that's just me all over that is honestly so uh yeah i can't show you it looks i look literally lopsided so i'm hoping they'll grow back they're just in that space there where i've also got like one of those is it what they call them like a blind mole so there's a little kind of flesh colored mole in there which 
also makes it look like it's a bit bald. Anyway, the joys of um, trying to maintain oneself. So anyway, I'll just get the John Lewis stuff tried on. I'm going to film it in the garden. The hedge trimmer's gone, thank the Lord. And um, hopefully there's not too much breeze. So I'm not, not worried about the camera falling over. So I will crack on and do that and we can have a chat. And oh, doo, I need to show you something. Hold on. Oh, I've I've told you before about the, the, world, the weird world of YouTube and you know, collaborations and all of that stuff, which is a whole new world to me, obviously. I mean, who would who would know about that stuff? Anyway, last year, quite in the early days of my channel, um, a company approached me and said, would I be interested in showing some shapewear? And so I can't remember. I think I said yes. I can't remember. And then they didn't get back to me. And then I approached them and I said, you know, you didn't get back to me. I'd like to show some shapewear. It's like a riddle, show some shapewear. And they didn't reply. So anyway, I decided to buy something from them and I bought these. Aren't they gorgeous? Just delightful looking implements of torture. And I didn't want to show you them until I'd worn them. And I wore them actually the day that I had the um, Bridgerton tea party and they were really good. So it's a shame they didn't collaborate with me, but you know what, I, so what? Like they weren't expensive. I think they were about 18 pounds. And they've got this elastic kind of silicon grip at the top here. And I got these in a 3XL. Now, I probably could have gone down to a 2XL, but I didn't want them to be like, Ugh, you know, and these are, were really comfortable. So, you know, this isn't an advert. I bought these myself. I am advertising them, but I did pay for them myself. So, um, and I got them in this colour because I thought with a, ta you know, with a tan, that's probably, I mean, I'm not obviously this colour, but, you know, that awful nude colour looks so naff, doesn't it? And black is so solid. So I wore these under a pale pink dress and you actually couldn't see them. So um, if it's so hot, I don't know if I can try these on today, but you can take it from me that these were some of the most comfortable shapewear and they didn't roll down. These came right up to my bra and they didn't roll down. Whereas that pair that I bought from Marks and Spencer's in the sale, they were useless. They went back because they started rolling down and they weren't even high. So that was that. Plus, I've got this code. Now, I don't know if this will only work once, but this came in the packet and it says the code is for 15% off. Try Conturve 15. So I will put that on. I don't know if that QR code will work on the screen. But um, it might only work for one person. I don't know. So um, you can try it. And there might be other discounts available. But I'll link everything and I'll put that in the description box. So anyway, without any more further ado. I'm, I'm good at that, aren't I? Um, I will try on the bits that I've got from John Lewis. Their sale at the moment is amazing really if you need something for a wedding or a black tie do or something or if you're going on a cruise next year maybe or in the winter now's the time to get your stuff there was evening dresses down from like 265 pounds to 70 pounds things like that really really good reduction so have a look there um and i will go and try it on the first outfit and if i think i can manage it i'll pop these on as well now this first dress is 100% polyester and it's Live Unlimited and it's kind of got this, I don't know if it's coming out here, it's got like a khaki green, it's kind of a bit like a funky camouflage print and it was reduced to £29. So I'm just going to check if I don't break my neck because I'm half on the cabin and half off. Yeah, so it's polyester and elastane. So I know I steer clear of polyester in the summer, but when I bought this dress, the weather was awful. And I was, I don't mind polyester in the winter. It's long sleeves, obviously, and it's um, 
got this nice button through kind of collar shirt dress style and then it's got this tie here it's very flattering on the waistline it's just just below my knee um which isn't a bad length and great with tights and boots i think so yeah for 29 pounds i think it's a jolly good dress i had to put my sunglasses on because it's so bright out here but um yeah if i was at work i would snap this up anyway that's number one i didn't put the shapewear on with this because really there's no need at all but um i might try it with the next dress so this one is um lolly's laundry not a brand i've ever tried before and this is um 100 polyester well 97 polyester and elastane and it is a slim fit it's got this nice um i don't know how they've done it actually yeah Oh, it's it's um seam down and a nice puff sleeve with a gathered thing now what i've done i've tried this on without shapewear and then i'm going to pop the pants on and we can see if it makes a difference i'm holding my belly in but i've just got my um chub rub shorts on so that's the dress without help. I'm gonna go and put help on, help. <laughs> now I think this has made a difference, although it's kind of stopping there, but partly because I'm so hot and bothered. I mean, I can't believe it. I've been trying on, you know, little thin summer dresses when it's been pouring down. And now I'm trying on kind of more autumn dresses and it's absolutely boiling as well as shapewear. So, you can see, I mean, you can still see kind of lumps and bumps, but they're smoother. I'm not holding my stomach in at all. The, the pants are doing it all for me. So, like I say, you can still, but this is a very kind of um, clingy, slim, slim cut dress. It's rather a nice dress actually it's a, a solid leopard print and it has got a, sh a very slight sheen to the fabric but uh yeah i think it's rather nice i think did i say it's 59 pounds but it was reduced so um yeah i'll get the next one on i'll keep the shape we're on i'm not taking them on and off i might spontaneously combust burn the whole cabin down this is ghost beautiful blue such a vibrant cobalt blue and black check 59 pounds this is 100 percent viscose very booby wooby like yeah i've kept the shape we're on and i think it does work with this dress it's got a lovely bias cut skirt feels so much cooler than the polyester because it does breathe doesn't it this fabric so I don't know if you can I mean you could put a little insert in there but um I don't know I, I you know for a party I don't I don't really mind too much but yeah I wouldn't wear this to a parents evening unless I wanted to distract them <laughs> but uh yeah, so that's um, the dresses. I've just got a jacket to show you now. I'm hoping I, I'm hoping this jacket fits. So um, I will show you that now. This is this is really lovely. This is Ghost. Did I say it's Ghost? They are very good. Their dresses are very good because this is sorry these beads are so I can feel them there. Um, this is properly cut on the bias, so so it's it's got that movement to it so yeah lovely dress 
So this is the jacket. This is a mango jacket reduced from, I think it was about £90 to £29.99. And this is the jacket that I really hoped would look fabulous. And I don't think it does look fabulous, but I will decide in the video. You'll be really pleased to know that I kept this white pleated skirt. I just did take the other white pleated skirt back. And I also took that um, textured jacket back to Marks and Spencers. I just didn't need it. And the sleeves are really long on this, but it's got this, this chain effect. I'm just going to see what it's made from. Oh, I can't, it's not in the side. I think it's probably polyester. Um, this is XXL in mango, but you know, their sizes are very neat, what they call neat sizes. I didn't bring a top down with me. I am about to spontaneously combust. bra underneath it but um and the the vent at the back is oh it's come apart now that was stitched together a minute ago um so yeah i'll decide on the video i have got a nice little black and a sparkly vest top that would look quite nice under this it's quite long isn't it might be nicer with trousers actually but um, yeah, so that's the John Lewis Hall. I'm going to take you back inside to um, finish up because it's baking out here. Not complaining, it just would be the day that I'm trying on more autumn clothes. So um, I'll see you indoors. Goodness me, it's so warm out there. Um, I mean, this will get really warm this afternoon, but it hasn't quite heated up yet. So I just thought I'd quickly um, wrap up that video so overall those clothes were disappointing i was so excited about that jacket but um it's not a patch on the do you remember that i called it my cabaret jacket that i bought for the cruise a couple of ladies have said if you're selling that i'm interested and i probably will one day but not yet i think i've got another cabaret season left in me <laughs> So, um, yeah, that's it for me today, I think. And um, I'm not sure what my next video will be. A couple of ladies have said, you know, the ones that live in the States or Canada about doing an H&M haul. So I might have a look at them and see what their clothes are doing. I have looked and I can't try on things that I wouldn't consider buying. You know, I'm not just going to buy a load of old rubbish um, and try it on just to fulfil a kind of a void but I will have a good old search of their website and see if I can find anything suitable so until then thank you as ever for watching and I'll see you really soon bye